Hello, good evening, Cecilia, Janet, Marilyn, Elizabeth, Mario, and Francisco. How are you doing today? Are you doing good? Yes, teacher. Yes? Did you have a good Monday? Yes, teacher. Was it a good Monday? With a lot of work? Relax? How was your Monday? Relax. Relax. Awesome. Fantastic. What about the weekend? Did you do anything interesting? Did you go anywhere? Did you visit any interesting place? Um, no, teacher. I cleaned no. my room. <laughs> okay, so you room. were doing housework. Yes, teacher. Okay. Well, at least well, you were um, taking advantage of time. And yes, being in a clean house is relaxing. But it takes a lot of work. <laughs> okay, so, so um, let's begin. Thank you for being on time. Um, we are going to be making a short review of our last class. And this is, okay. And in the last class, we were, um, discussing how to use wood better, okay? And we've said that wood better is to use to give a strong advice or suggestion. Um, what we have on page 22 is, um, let's see, it's wood, the structure is the subject plus would be better plus the verb and infinitive. And we have here some examples, it, would, so the subject is it. Then we have would be better, the complete phrase, and the infinitive, to let. Remember that in this case, the infinitive is to plus the verb without conjugating the verb. And then we can have a, complement, right? And we have the examples there. It says, it would be better to let employees decide what process to change. It would be better to let a manager take care of the situation. Other expressions that can be used to provide suggestions or alternatives are, would you prefer? Wouldn't it be better to? It would be good if. And we have, it would be good if we had a professional to complete the manual. That is a um, sample. So now we, do, do you have any question before we continue with the next exercise? No questions? Okay, as we don't have any questions, we will complete the exercise five by putting the words in order and making sentences or questions. As you can see, the number one is already done. It says you prefer to have wood a different schedule. So at the end we have, would you prefer to have a different schedule? Uh, that is a question. Would you prefer to have a different schedule? We need to have there the question mark. No tenemos la, 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 el signo de pregunta, pero sí, eh, tiene el orden de una pregunta. Entonces, vamos a ver. Uh... Okay, thank you, Carlos. I hope that you get better soon. Okay, so the number two, it's a question. Number three, it's a sentence as well as number four. And number five, it's going to be a question. So I'll give you time for you to arrange the sentences or questions, and you can use the box, the grammar box there to help you.
Have you finished? No, yet, teacher. Okay. I finished, teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Can you share the number two with us? Um, wouldn't it be better to revise the manual before printing? Excellent. Thank you so much, Susia. Thank you. Number three, does anybody have the number three? Number three, it would be good if we change that dress, that dress code. Excellent, Abigail, that's correct. Number four, who has the number four? Number four. It, it would be a good idea to have um, a training manual for chefs. 
Excellent. That's correct, Victor. Thank you so much. And finally, number five, volunteer. Wouldn't, wouldn't it be better to let the manager decide? Excellent. Thank you so much, Abigail. So your answers were correct. You did a very good job with this exercise. Now, remember, we are practicing with the auxiliary wood. Uh, wood is, in this case, used to provide our advice or suggestions. We are um, putting it together with the verb be and uh, an infinitive verb. As you can see here, the modal verb would and with are also used for requests. Modal verbs have a variety of uses. We already study to give advice or suggestion, but keep in mind that this can be also used for request. Uh, let me stop sharing with uh, you a couple of minutes so I can uh, show you the material here. Um, one moment. Okay, I'm ready to share that with you. I guess that you can see it now. Okay, let's listen to the grammar focus and then we will explain. Page 89. Exercise 7. Grammar Focus. Modal verbs would and will for requests. What would you like? I'd like the fish and rice. I'll have a small salad. What kind of dressing would you like? I'd like blue cheese, please. I'll have vinaigrette. What would you like to drink? I'd like an iced tea. I'll have coffee. Would you like anything else? Yes, please. I'd like some water. No, thank you. That'll be all. Contractions I'll equals I will. I'd equals I would. As you realize, would is being used in questions, when we ask the question, we mainly use would, okay? Same, so we have some question samples here. What would you like? So we are offering or requesting that information, right? What kind of dressing would you like? What would you like to drink? Would you like anything else? Okay, so, uh, that's it for questions. Now, if we are uh, providing an answer to the question, you can use I would, I would like, okay, the fish and rice. So would, it's, um, uh, in this case, we are putting it together with the verb like, I would like the fish and rice. And also we can use will when you make the decision. I'll have a small salad. And in case that will, we're putting it together with the verb have, okay? And we also have the contractions, right? I'll, it's for I will. I'd stands for I would. Any questions here with the grammar focus? Maybe vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? 
Okay. If there are no questions, you can continue with the information that we have in the grammar box. You can continue here. Uh, you have it in the presentation, so you can uh, continue here. For example, the first is a question. It's a conversation between the server and the customer. So the first is question, what we are missing there? What are we missing there? What you like to order? How would you complete that? Would or will? Will. Good. Good. Because we are using wood for the questions. Excellent. So, for you to complete this, we are going to make it in groups. And then we are going to share the answers. So, let me stop sharing and create the breakout rooms. Okay, let's complete it. I would or I could. En la primera, como es pregunta, vamos a ver, could. What could you like to order? Y conforme vaya, o sea, con el orden vamos a, vamos a ir escribiendo si es would o es will. Ah, ok, ok. Uh -huh. eh, sí, en la primera es would. Uh -huh. Ay. Mm. Um, en la segunda. Aquí quizás sería bueno. I'll have the spice chicken. I'll have the Pero es que Will... O Woods, yo creo que siempre Wood. Ay, no sé, no sé qué dicen los demás. What would you like? Es que si se fijan en la primera de, del ejemplo, 
puede escribir de las dos formas. Yo creo que quizás estaría bien con will. I will. I will. I will have the spicy chicken. ¿Qué le pongo entonces? El, el would. El I'll, the will. Ah, el will, ok. okay. Ah, 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 ah. Uy. Está. En la tercera, ah no, se la puse aquí abajo. En la tercera, la siempre sería wood. Sí, wood. Would you uh -huh. like rice or potatoes? Ah, es que le está preguntando qué le gustaría, si arroz uh -huh. o... Arroz o, 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 o papas. O, ah. o, Y de respuesta también podría ser wood, porque podría ser me gustaría arroz, por favor. Ajá, ajá. Yeah. Ay, qué esta cosa. <risa> es más fácil que uno que se pueda digitar el texto y no que los ponga en imagen. Uh -huh. Ajá, y aquí también sería... Y, y si lo hace si lo hace con esa barra ¿cuál barra? Eh, con la barra no le aparece un lapicito a un lado de la pantalla no ah, en, lo estoy proyectando ah, bien va sí. Pero ese, ah, sí. y, ahí, y ahí le aparece una barra donde tiene el texto donde lo puede Ah, sí, aquí está. Ah, vaya, y entonces en este, ¿qué sería? Ay, perdón, lo tapo. Eh... Aquí creo que también sería Wood. Uh. En la cuarta, ah, no, quinta. No, aquí queda más grande. Eh. Ay, ¿cómo se quita? Eh, en la misma barra ahí está un, un borrador. Perdonen que me abro más Zoom. No puedo usar Zoom, solo Teams. Ah, ah. No, pero aquí. Y, y ahí le puede, donde dice dónde está la, la cosita del texto, ahí le puede cambiar el no, pero voy a usar esta misma mejor. Vaya. Y la siguiente. Yo creo que ahí también se añade Will. I will just have a glass of water. Okay. Aquí el like is like yes, it's fun. Ajá, y el, el like, o would you, would you like anything else? Y en la siguiente.
sería Guren en negativo. Porque es una respuesta negativa. O sería, no, porque la, la respuesta es como sería todo por ahora. Gracias. Entonces, hay Sí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. White. Ay, Padre Santo. Bueno, igual ella no va a correr. <risa> Solo will o will not. Yo creo que es will not. Pero no sé qué dice. Porque ahí diría no sería todo por ahora. Gracias. Uh -huh. mm. No, yo creo que sí está bien. No es necesario que lleve el not. Porque sería casi que lo mismo como la última del ejemplo. Mire, ¿qué dice? Would you like anything else? No, yes, mm. please. I, I like some water. O oh, no, thank you. That I will be all. Uh -huh. Ok. Voy a por la de abajo. Yo creo que son estas. Yo creo que entonces es wood o no. ¿Me dicen ustedes o lo cambian?
Okay, everybody's out of the room. Um, who would like to share? Who wants to share the answers? Any volunteer? Okay, Cecilia, thank you so much. Okay, Cecilia, we have a first. What would you like to order? I'll have spicy chicken. Would you like rice or potatoes? I'd like rice, please. And would you like anything to drink? I'll just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? No, that'll be all for now, thanks. Would you like dessert? Yes, I'd like ice cream. And what flavor would you like? I'll have strawberry, please. All right, excellent. Yeah, clap for you and your group. You did an excellent job. Um, Thank you. Would you like to role play the conversation with anybody in the group? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, no sé con quién. Estaba Carla, Magdiel. I volunteer to role play the with, conversation. With me, it's okay. Okay. Good, okay. Magdiel. What would you like to order? I'll have the spiced chicken. Would you like rice or potatoes? I like rice, please. Okay. And would you like anything to drink? I'll just have a glass of water. Would you like anything else? No, that's... Um, that that'll, will, be. That'll, that'll be. That'll be. Uh, thank you, teacher. That'll be all for now. Thanks. Later. Would you like dessert? Yes, I like ice cream. What flavor would you like? Mm, I'll have strawberry, please. Excellent. Excellent job. Thank you so much for participating. And thank you for sharing your answers. Um, everybody has the same answers? All of you have the same answers? Well, I guess you do. Thank you so much for sharing and we will check attendance. Remember to say present as soon as you hear your names and if possible for you, turn on your cameras. Let's start with Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you so much. Balmore Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. I know that you were there, not feeling very well. Thank you so much for letting us know. And let's continue. Are you right in the chat? Okay, thank you, Carlos. Um, Cecia Noemi Ramos. Present, teacher. Thank you, Cecia. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Hazel Vanessa. Thank you, Hazel. I can see your message. Thank you for letting us know. Uh, Janet Fernanda Cortez. Julissa Yamilet Villalta. Okay, thank you so much, Julissa. I see your message. Okay, Carla Ivani Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Oh, Catherine, uh, she wrote in the WhatsApp, I think. Yes, Julissa, say present. Okay, thank you. Let me 
Continue checking attendance. Luis Javier Castillo. Luis Javier Castillo. Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Present. Thank you, Marilyn. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Present. Thank you so much. Melanie Alexandra Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Yanet Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina Cerritos. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina. And Victor Noe Bonilla. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for your attendance. And let me continue sharing. Okay, after that, we have a conversation here. I don't be... Oh, okay, let me share the audio again so that we can listen and practice a little bit bit more of pronunciation. Thank you, Catherine. I checked you here in the attendance list. Okay. Well, let us listen to this conversation and then let me, let me know if there is um, any new word or Pronunciation, I don't recall if we practice this. Have we practiced this one? Okay, let me play the audio. Page 88, exercise six, conversation, ordering a meal. Part A, listen and practice. May I take your order? Yes. I'd like the spicy fish and rice. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes. I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes. I'd like a large iced tea, please. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? No questions? Do we have volunteers to practice? Uh, teacher, I don't know this uh, vinaigrette. How se pronounce Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you for your questions. Uh, Magdiel, you're raising for participation or you have any question? Uh, I'm ready for participation. Okay, you want to role play? Anybody else who can help Magdiel with the practice? A volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Abigail. Okay, Magdiel, Abigail. You can, you can role play now. Okay. May I take your order? Yes, I'd like, yes, I'd like that space fish and rice. All right. I would like a salad. Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. That was fantastic. You did a very nice job. Thank you so much, um, Ariel and Magdiel. 
Thank you, I teacher. just didn't listen the word is spicy. Spicy. Could you repeat Any... uh, the pronouns, the vinaigrette? Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Vinaigrette, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Do we have two more volunteers? Mario and Carla Ivania. Okay, the stage is yours. Okay. Uh, may I take you order? Yes. Like spicy fish and rice. All right. And would you like a salad? Yes. I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you and would you like anything to drink? Yes, I'd like a large iced tea, please. Awesome. You did it fantastic. Okay, um, do we have two more to continue? Just two more. I want to make sure I'm not leaving anybody behind. No more volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, we have Marilyn who wants to practice with Marilyn. Thank you, Janet. May I take two orders? Yes, I'd like a spice of fish and rice. Or rice, and would you like a salad? Yes, I'll have a mixed green salad. Okay, what kind of this dressing what? would you like? Mm -hmm. uh, we, have we have cheese and vinaigrette. Luscious, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large iced tea, please. Awesome, fantastic. Thank you so much, ladies. You did a very good job with this um, exercise. You're getting good pronunciation. So let's continue. Uh, let me share back again. Okay. Uh, so do you remember in the previous Friday, we had this chart and we discussed the vocabulary here. We have, uh, okay, I don't know if you finished this one. We, um, we defined the vocabulary of this chart last Friday. And I remember just a new word that was, Mm. Okay, it's not here. Okay, so we have a bread, chicken, corn, fish, grapes, lamb, mangoes, octopus, pasta, peas, potato, rice, shrimp, strawberries, and turkey. Is there any new word for you here? Hmm. Any new word? What's the meaning of lamb? Lamb is cordero. Thank you. Okay. Is there any other question? What is the mean peas? Oh, peas son los um, chicharos, los verdecitos que se ponen a veces en arroz. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Any other? Any other new word? Okay, now we have five different categories. We have meat, seafood, fruit, vegetable, and grains. 
In the mid categories, which of these words would you put here? Fish. Fish? Mm. Chicken. Chicken. Okay, chicken, yes. Turkey. Turkey. Turkey, yes. Lamb. Lamb, yes. Correct. Now, under seafood? Uh, fish. Fish. Um, octopus. Okay. Octopus, yes. Shrimp. Shrimp. Correct. Excellent. Uh, fruit. Mangoes. 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 Strawberries. Strawberries. And grapes. Good. Now, vegetables. Corn. Corn, yes. Potatoes. 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 Mm -hmm. Los peas. The peas. And peas. Yes, correct. Now, what about grains? Break. Rice. 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 Uh huh. Pasta. Pasta oh. can be, yeah, because it's made of wheat. Mm -hmm. Corn. Corn. Corn could be, yes. Mm -hmm. And bread, maybe, yes, bread. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have a menu here. That menu and the previous vocabulary is going to help us for the next exercise. Okay, let's read the menu together. We have, uh, in today's lunch specials, we have spicy beef and potatoes, lamb with French fries, shrimp pizza and salad, For drinks, we have coffee, tea, soda, milk, fresh juice. Mm, I'm missing some uh, some main dishes. <laughs> okay, we also have vegetable curry and rice, chicken salad sandwich, sushi plate with miso soup, and uh, dessert, we have ice cream, chocolate cake, apple pie, and fresh fruit. Is there anything new here? Any word? Are we okay with the vocabulary here? We okay? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Um, where say sushi play with miso soup. What does what does mean miso? Oh, miso soup. La sopa miso es una es una sopita que así se llama sopa miso. Esa es una sopita japonesa. Es casi que lleva un queso que se llama tofu, como cebollín, soya, alguna carnita. Es una sopita ralita, así se llama miso soup. Uh -huh. Miso soup. Ya, yeah, miso soup, es japonesa. Es tradicional uh -huh. de Japón. Ok. Uh -huh. Next. Any other question? Okay, now with this vocabulary, we are going to go into the breakout room so that we can create a conversation similar to this one that we have practiced. You will change and you have this vocabulary that can be used here in your conversation. So I'm going to create the breakout rooms, create the conversation 
practice it, and then you decide who is going to role play in your groups. Let me stop sharing so I can create the breakout rooms. Okay, let's join the room to create our conversations. Um, we, we are going to create a new conversation. Malmone puede compartir usted. Estoy con el teléfono, no puedo. ¿Qué más tiene para poder compartir? Teacher. No sé si escuché bien. Eh, íbamos a utilizar como esta plantilla de conversación. Y vamos a, a cambiarla por estas opciones. Yes, uh, for example, yes. Uh -huh. You can use that vocabulary if it's easier for you. Si les es más fácil usar ese vocabulario. Pero sí, tienen que crear su propia conversación. Y pueden utilizar, como se dice, esa como modelo. Eh, y ahí tienen un menucito con, con variedad como para decir, what would you like to order? I like the, uh huh. Or may I take your order? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'd like the lamb with French fries. Y ahí le pregunta si quisiera ketchup para las papas o cosas así. Y ahí van creando su conversación. Ya cuando la tengan, pues deciden la practican y pues deciden quiénes harían el role play. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay. Um, okay. So 
solo creo que Carlos está enfermo y Carlos Emilio, no sé. Y ahí está activo Francisco, creo. No, no, no se ve muy activo Carlos Emilio. No, Carlos sí está enfermo, pero Carlos Emilio no sé si tiene problemas con la conexión. Si no, empezamos nosotros. Ok. Right. Sir, te digo que le dé la bienvenida, ¿verdad? Yes. Mm. Yeah, Mr. May I take your order? Sure. May I take? May I take your order? Be customer. Customer is customer. Yes. Spicy mm. beef o un potero. Spicy. Sí. O lamb y French. Spicy. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bueno, bien. Spicy beef and potatoes. Y acá hay otra conversación. Ah, aquí podría ser. Would you like? I like spicy beef. Y como pregunta. Sí. Podría ser. Would you like rice o potato? Or potato. Would you like rice or potatoes? And I like rice, please. Potato is here. Podríamos agregarle eso. Sala. Ah, sala. All right. All right. Acheting. All right. Well, ¿Alguna otra otro tipo de ensalada?
Ah, hay una de fruta, perdón. I don't have a fruit. fruit salad. En la ensalada ahorita. ¿Cuál? En la ensalada le digo. Sí, ya le voy a preguntar de la drink, de la bebida. ¿De? Fresh juice o natural juice. Natural juice. Yes, I may. Medium, Yeah. Podemos poner ese later. Yeah. Teacher. Yes. Um, Todo bien aquí, algo así. It's all of good or is everything good or is everything correct? It's in which one? In the one that you're showing me, the what would what? you like to order? I'll have the spicy chicken. That one. Would you like? It's everything okay. Would you like that beyond? Yes, everything is okay with your exercise. Is correct. Como, ajá, como para preguntarle, es que los meseros generalmente así le preguntan a uno que si todo está bien y ya le ofrecen algún postre. Ah, okay. Is everything okay with your order? Okay. Wait. Oh, sí. En ese caso, como es la comida, ¿verdad? Is everything okay with your meal? Is everything okay with your meal? Se la puede escribir. Ahí se las escribí. Is everything. Is everything okay with your meal? Uh -huh. 
Y ahí mismo se le puede preguntar. Would you like a dessert? Ajá. Uh -huh. That's correct. To like this, Like. Sería an apple pie, ¿verdad, teacher? Yes, ajá. Uh -huh. He can say, yes, please, an apple pie, or yes, please, I'd like an apple pie. Yes, please, an apple pie. Goodbye. With Bye. Ya está. Vaya, Francisco, si quieres lo, lo practicamos. Ok. Solo que no, no lo puedo observar. El trabajo para, para practicarlo. No lo puede ver. No. no, tiene que seleccionar el documento porque solo hemos estado viendo la presentación del, de la clase. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Pero, sorry. <risa> Pensando que estaba viendo. Sí. No. Yo, yo ahí, yo ahí queriéndole ayudar, pero no veía la. Ah, la y no me dice. <ríe> Sorry. Bye, ahí está. Ok. Eh, comienzo. Yes. Welcome, Miss. Uh, my, I take your order. Yes, I like spicy beef. Would you like rice? Or potato? I like potato, please. All right. Would you like salad? Yes, I'll have a fruit salad. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a medium natural.
Hey, we are all complete. Now let's listen to your role plays. In room number one, we had Carlos Humberto, Carlos Emilio, Cecilia, Francisco, and Julissa. Okay. Ahí está, teacher. Ahí está. Vamos a poner. No lo puedo ver. ¿Lo pueden ver ustedes? No. Um, no, I think that... Oh. Okay, now we can see. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome, Mister. May I take your order? Yes, I like spicy beef. Would you like rice or potatoes? I like potato, please. All right. Would you like salad? Yes, I have the fruit salad. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I like a large natural juice. Okay. Is everything okay with your meal? Would you like a dessert? Yes, please. I like an apple pie with coffee. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much for sharing. You are ready to order in English. <laughs> Very good. Now in room number two, Thanks. we have Valmore, Cristina, Elizabeth, Janet Angel, Magdiel, Marilyn, and Abigail. Can you see the chart? Yes, we can see your screen. <clears throat> okay. Okay, classmate. Um, server. May I take your order? Yes, I like chicken, lasagna, and salad. Me too. I like vegetarian pizza and garlic bread. All right. And would you like juice or soda? Yes, I have an orange juice. Please, I'd like coffee frozen. Okay. Would you like anything appetizer? We have shim cocktail and chips with cheese. Yes, thank you. <laughs> okay. That is all, teacher. Okay, and the closing, we're not included, but you did it. <laughs> I guess um, it was not enough time, right? Yeah. But you did it. Excellent. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing. Uh, let's listen. In room number three, we had Hazel, Carla Ivania, Catherine, Luis Javier, Mario Ernesto, and Melanie. Room number three. Hazel, Carla Imania, Catherine, Luis Javier, Mario Ernesto, and Melanie. Hi, teacher. Yo creo que casi que nadie estaba en el grupo. Entonces yo solo me puse a leer lo anterior que estuvimos repitiendo. Ah, ok. Oh. Okay, I understand. Maybe they join, but nobody works. 
Okay. Well, so let's continue. Okay, the next exercise that we have is this. We have a listening practice I'm sharing with you. In this, uh, as you know, it is important to practice. Um, es importante practicar todo. Recuerden, um, la, la clave es la práctica. Entonces, uh, vamos a practicar un poco de listening. Um, sé que a lo mejor tal vez no han podido imprimir la presentación. Son ejercicios adicionales, pero anyways, pueden hacer algo similar en su cuaderno si no tienen esto impreso. Es un listening. Um, vamos a escuchar. Listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Se tienen que completar, poner la orden y uh, completar como el, como el check aquí. We have Philip's dinner. Tiene como un número de invoice or receive and the total. So you have to write down the information from the dialogue that we are going to listen. I'm going to play the recording twice. Uh, for you to practice your listening and complete the information that you listen according to the audio. So it is not necessary now that you draw the receipt. You just write down the information that you gather in your notebook. Page 90. Exercise nine, listening. Let's order. Part A, listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich and I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them french fries here, right? I'll have some french fries, please. All right. One coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with french fries. Uh, anything else? Yes. I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm. I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. Or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of french fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Okay, did you take notes? Did you, do you want to listen one more time? One more time, teacher, please. Okay. Page 90, exercise nine, listening. Let's order. Part A, listen to Rex and Hannah order in a restaurant. What did each of them order? Fill in their check. Hi, may I take your order? Yes, I'll have a cup of coffee. Cream and sugar? Oh, yes, please. And you? I'd like a chicken sandwich. And I'll have some chips. Oh, you call them french fries here, right? I'll have some french fries, please. All right, one coffee with cream and sugar and a chicken sandwich with french fries. Uh, anything else? Yes, I'd like an iced tea, please. One iced tea. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. What kind of desserts do you have? Well, we have pie, cake, ice cream, chocolate mousse. Ooh, what kind of pie do you have? I think today we have apple, cherry, lemon. Hmm, I think I'll have a piece of apple pie with my coffee. How about you, Hannah? Oh, maybe I'll have a piece later. 
or I'll have some of yours. <laughs> <laughs> then it's one coffee, one apple pie, one chicken sandwich, an order of French fries, and an iced tea, right? Yes, thank you. Thanks. Do you want to listen one more time or you have all the information? Um, they say yeah, your order. One cup of coffee with cream and sugar. One chicken sandwich. And what one order fries, French fries. One I steered and one piece and apple paste. Apple, apple pie. Pie. Apple pie. Okay, let us check. Okay, so yes, Rex orders coffee with cream and sugar and a piece of apple pie. Hannah ordered a chicken sandwich, French fries, and iced tea. Very good. I see that you get all the information. That was amazing. I hope that everybody has the same um, information. Now let's listen to the rest of the conversation and take notes of the two items that the server forgot to bring. Okay, listen and write the two items that the server forgot to bring. Page 90, Exercise 9, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the server forgot to bring. Oh, here comes our server. Yeah, I wondered what took so long. Phew, here you are. Uh, I ordered french fries with my chicken sandwich, and you brought me noodles. Oh, you ordered french fries? Yes. Uh, and could I have the apple pie I ordered? What apple pie? Did you order apple pie? Uh-huh, yeah, I did with my coffee. Really? How did I forget that? Um, uh, can I ask you a question? Yes? How long have you been a server? Who, me? Oh, uh, today is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get your apple pie and the french fries right away. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Okay, what are the two items that the server forgot? Um, your beverage? Aha, uh -huh, he forgot the iced tea. And? The apple pie. Uh huh. Are you sure? Yes, the apple pie and the iced tea, the beverage. Hmm. Are you sure? Let us listen one more time. I guess that we're okay with the apple pie. Uh huh. Let's. Page listen. ninety, exercise nine, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Circle the two items that the server forgot to bring. Oh, here comes our server. Yeah, I wondered what took so long. Phew, here you are. Uh, I ordered french fries with my chicken sandwich, and you brought me noodles. Oh, you ordered french fries? Yes. Uh, and could I have the apple pie I ordered? What apple pie? Did you order apple pie? Uh-huh, yeah, I did with my coffee. Really? How did I forget that? Um, can I ask you a question? Yes? How long have you been a server? Who, me? Oh, uh, today is my first day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll get your apple pie and the french fries right away. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, thanks. Good luck. Thanks. Mm, okay, forgot, what are the two items that he forgot? He forgot uh, the French fried. 
Aha, uh -huh. he forgot the French fries and, and apple, apple, pie. apple pie. The apple pie, correct. He forgot to bring the French fries and the apple pie. Good. So now that we practice a little bit of listening, let's continue sharing the screen. Okay, as we are talking about the restaurant industry and uh, topics related to menus, we also can include the tips, topics. So we have the reading here. This is a reading exercise. To tip or not to tip? What is the tip? What is the tip? La propina. Yes, it's correct. So we have this reading exercise about tips. And then in the next part, we have two exercises. Read the article and find the words in italics in the article. And you have to check the meaning of each word. Probably you will find new vocabulary. Um, probably some of them you already know and you can check them without a dictionary. But we will see in the groups. In part B, it says check the statements that describe appropriate tipping behavior for the other items. What is acceptable? Okay. Um, I think that we can do this in groups. Remember that, well, we have a couple of tools here where it says annotate. Let me uh, escape from the full screen where it says, um, remember on annotate, we have a, a stamp donde dice annotate. Ahí tienen um, o anotaciones. Hay uno que dice stamp. Ahí ustedes pues dan clic en stamp y ahí está el chequecito. Y ahí ustedes miren, ahí ponen chequecito. ¿Ve? Stamp, seleccionan el cheque y si quieren pueden poner estrellitas. <ríe> y así nos divertimos también usando Zoom. Ok, so let me go ahead and... Uh, vamos a ver. Vamos a crear los rooms para que puedan hacerlo. Y pues, si les toca mala suerte y pues nadie pues colabora por ahí, ni modo, hay que trabajar individual, ¿verdad? Ahí está primero la reading y después los ejercicios y compartimos ahí que, que aprendimos, que hicimos, cómo resolvimos. Let me create the rooms. Okay, there you go.
Yes, Hola. Vi que pidió ayuda. ¿Sí? Sí, ser usted lo acaba de compartir. No, Carlos Emilio está compartiendo. Ah, vaya, muchas gracias. Gracias, Emilio. Dijo la teacher que, que íbamos a poner unos cervecitos, pero ¿para qué? Eso no, no lo pondré bien. Teacher, los chequecitos, ¿para qué son? Hola. Tienen que leer, ya leyeron. Leer lo, todo lo que se puso ahí antes de eso. ¿eh? Antes dice leer el artículo, encuentra las palabras que están en, las que están como cursivas y chequear el significado de cada palabra. Ahí tienen la palabra wages y tienen dos opciones, regular pay for a job o tips received for a job. Mm -hmm. Hay que leer el artículo y luego uh, ver qué significan esas palabras. A través de la lectura podemos saber qué significan. O si no, mm -hmm. pues usar un diccionario. Hay algunas que creo que no necesitaríamos leer o buscar en el diccionario, pero pues la idea es, es, eh, es esa, ¿verdad? Incrementar el vocabulario o, o reforzar el que ya se tiene. Ok, gracias. ¿Comprendieron ustedes? Carlos, Janet y quiero ver quién más está ahí. Ay, que son los cinco. Catherine. Ah, no, cinco con la aquí. Catherine. Carlos. En la primera sería regular pay for a job, pero ahí hay que hacer el chequecito. Repita lo que dijo, Ayane, que no le comprendí. Por favor. Ahí en el número uno, en pago regular, eh, regular pay for a job. Uh -huh. Y se entra. Sí, yo aquí o si dice eso. En la segunda sería happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. Sorry, it's five. And number three, depend on. Uh, for me, it's change according to. Teacher, disculpe, ¿cuál artículo se refiere? Hay que leer. El que está en la diapositiva 12. En la anterior. Uh -huh. Tip or not to tip. The word tip comes from an old English word, slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. People in the U.S. usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salon. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. Ahí tiene la primera palabra, wages. Work in these places, ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces, leen el artículo y luego pues desarrollan lo demás. Gracias.
eh, en la cuatro sería a way of feeling. Are you sure? En number four. A way, for, um, a way of feeling. For me, behavior is more like como el comportamiento. That is correct, Catherine. Mm Great, great. In number five, sweet trait. Uh, ignore it. Are you sure of the number four and five? Catherine gave you the correct answer of number four. And number six, respect for the seat.
Hey, so how was the reading? Was it easy, difficult, interesting? Did you learn any new word? Yes, teacher. Excellent. I think it was interesting. Interesting. Okay, nice. Thank you so much for your opinion. Now, uh, would anybody like to share screen? So that we can check your work. Yo no le agrego sacarle captura, teacher. Creo que Magdiel le sacó, pero no sé. Okay. Well, we're going to check together then. So I'm sharing the screen and here we have the reading. It says the word tip comes from an old English slang word that means to give. It's both a noun and a verb. People in the US usually tip people in places like restaurants, airports, hotels, and hair salons. People who work in these places often get paid low wages. A tip shows that the customer is pleased with the service. Sometimes it is hard to know how much to tip. The size of the tip depends on the service. People such as parking violators or bellhops usually get smaller tips. The tip for people such as taxi drivers and servers is usually larger. Here are a few guidelines for tipping in the United States. Taxi drivers, 15% of the bill if they help you with the bags. Servers, 15 to 20% of the bill. There is no tipping fast food restaurant. Oh, wow, interesting. Barbers or hairstylists, 15% of the bill. Airport borders or hotel bellhops, one or two dollars for carrying each suitcase. Hotel tourist attendants, one or two dollars for getting a taxi. Parking validators, two dollars per parking a car. Hotel maids, two to five dollars per night. When you're not sure about how much to tip, do what feels right. You don't have to tip for a bad service, and you can give a bigger tip for a very good service. Remember, though, your behavior is more important than your money. Always treat service providers with respect. Now, according to this, if you remember, because I know that some of you were working on this, some of you were not able to um save the 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 answers that you had so for you wages is a regular pay for a job or tips received for a job a regular pay regular for pay. a job uh-huh if you have regular pay for a job it's correct please What is pleased? Happy or satisfied or annoyed or bothered? Happy or satisfied. Happy or satisfied. That is correct. Happy or satisfied. Depend on. Be the same as or change according to. Change according to. Correct. Change according to. Number four, behavior. A way of feeling. Behavior. A way of acting. Correct, a way of acting. Excellent. Treat. Act toward. Act toward, excellent. 
Six, respect. Estaban tocando la puerta. Courtesy. Courtesy. Excellent. That's, if you have those answers, they are correct. Now, in the letter B, it says check the statements that describe appropriate tipping behavior for the other items. What is acceptable? Your haircut cost 40. You loved it. Your tip, the, the style is $3. A uh, porter at the airport helps you with three suitcases. You tip him six dollars. Your fast food meal costs eighty. You don't leave a tip. You stay in a hotel for a week. You leave ten dollars per tip to the hotel maid. Your taxi ride costs fourteen dollars. The driver carries your bag. You tip him three dollars. Which ones did you check? Which ones did you check? Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two. Three. Number and three. Number five. And five. Okay, let's check your answers. Mm. According to this, only two and three. Well, you got two correct. Excellent. <laughs> you just had one extra. So that's not a big deal. <laughs> you did a good job. So let's check attendance for the second time. Remember to say present as soon as you hear your name. And if it is possible to turn on your camera, that so would be amazing. Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present. Thank you. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquí. Present, teacher. Okay. Carlos Emilio Cotto. Present. Present. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Decia Noemi Ramos. Thank you, Carlos. And Cecia, thank you. I know you're there. Uh, Francisco Ernesto. Present, Miss. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa. Present, teacher. Thank you, Hazel. Eh, si Janet, ella no se ha unido. O Junisa Janet. Carla Ivania. Catherine Beatriz. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see who's next. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Miguel Saúl. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present teacher. Thank you. Mirna Janet. Present teacher. Thank you. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you, Cristina, and Victor Bonilla. Okay, so today 101 is for Hazel Vanessa. Si tiene alguna pregunta, duda, puede quedarse algunos minutitos después de la clase. O oh, si no, pues nos vemos el día de mañana. Thank you, everyone, for joining today's section. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take, care. Good night. Take care. Thank you. See you. See you. Thank you, teacher. teacher. Good night. Welcome. Good night, Bye. Teacher. Good night.